What is cooking, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? I'm Casserole J, and welcome to Liminal Spaces, but slowly gets more creepy. Uh, recently, I uploaded a Vita Carnis video, which was just like me reacting to a analog core I really liked. It did pretty decent. It seemed like it got a decent amount of views, and a lot of you guys liked it. So uh, I kind of wanted to continue and react to more stuff, but there's there's not really any like Vita Carnis to left to react to so i was looking for interesting stuff i found this one posted by liminality it's about liminal spaces which are supposedly spaces that like uh remind you of places you've seen or like they look creepy they're supposed to disturb you or make you feel lonely and i've never really gotten in on the whole like liminal spaces thing it was really popular uh, almost a year ago but i never really saw it that much but i did actually want to watch this because it looked pretty interesting all of these are made by Liminality. Go show him some love. Let's watch. It is kind of loud. Oh, okay. I don't know if these are supposed to be liminal spaces. Oh, Liminality. Okay, it's his intro, I see. Oh, I forgot to mention. I will be rating every single room that is shown on a scale of 1 to 10 on, like, creepiness, okay? This room right here is it's not super high. I'm gonna have to give this a 3 out of 10 because like seeing the mountains and all that like stuff back there kind of makes this look not too bad. Okay, we're gonna turn it down a bit. It's a little loud. Yeah, that's a 3 out of 10. It's a nice looking room. A little like tub. Okay, I'll give that like a 2 out of 10 because that's like every hotel I've ever been in. Also seeing someone on the TV takes away from a lot of feeling. Um, I'm gonna have to give that a 4 out of 10. Yeah, the, it, he kind of builds up where he does like not creepy ones and then sort of slips us into the creepy ones. What's this? Oh, yeah, I'll give that uh Actually, I'll give that a 4 out of 10 as well, just because the music makes it like this kind of boppy. Oh. Oh, oh, okay. Um... I know this is the not creepy section, but I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna have to give this a... I think a five and a half. I don't like seeing giant, like, targets and stuff that are, like, empty of people and items. It just really freaks me out. What's this? Uh, oh, it's a highway. Uh, I'll give that a zero out of ten, because I can see all sorts of buildings and lights. I'm not even a person that lives near a city or, like, in a city, but... Uh, I'm gonna give that a, actually, yeah, a 3 out of 10. That's my grandma's crib, not gonna lie. What? Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna have to give that a 5 out of 10. That is, let's see, none of these make me feel uncomfortable yet. Supposedly, liminal spaces are supposed to make you, like, feel things. Uh, oh. Yeah, I don't really like that. I'm gonna give that a 5 out of 10. That looks a lot, these do look like places I've seen. Oh, um, yeah, I'm gonna give that a 3 out of 10, because that doesn't look like anything I've ever seen, and it doesn't really creep me out, it's just weird. Oh. Alright, he changed the music. What? Are we in a sewer grate staring at a well? Yeah, I'm giving that a 6 out of 10. The hill, the way that you can kind of tell it, like, drops, like, it just drops straight off, that's creepy to me. Ooh. Yeah, I don't, I'm giving that a 6 out of 10, that's John Arbuckle's kitchen, and... The way it's in that little corner of the room, just like, it looks weird. I don't like that. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, that's, that's an immediate 8 out of 10 for me. Something about that room. I think it's the fact that that uh, slide looks like a lady just standing there with a white face. Also, I'm not, I'm not genuinely lying. I didn't think these places were going to, like, make me feel anything. But I'm getting, like, little, little shivers. Make me, it might help that I have a fan on in the background. Wait, that's literally... Wait, hold on. That's literally my grandma's house. She even has the fake ivy on the railing. It's literally her house. Okay, I gotta go call her real quick. Huh? Yeah? Yeah, okay. That, I'm giving that a 9 out of 10. Not for creepiness, but that literally looks like a place I have been to. Like, exactly. A tiny bit different. Uh... I'm gonna get that 4 out of 10. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll give that a 6 out of 10, because I know it's supposed to be creepy. It's not too creepy to me, but the just complete lack of light at the end is a little concerning. 
What is that? What am I looking at? The quality's so fuzzy, I, I, I can't really tell what I'm seeing here. Is this a sky? Zero out of ten. Oh, okay, I'll give that a two out of ten. I know it's supposed to be like a tornado or something, but like there's a person right there on the car, so... Uh... Yeah, I'll give that a 6 out of... Gosh, music, I'll give that a 6 out of 10, I don't... I don't like that. Ooh, 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 9 out of 10, 9 out of 10, I don't like that. That's a... that's... that... that gives me the little shivers. The freaking office building ripoff. Ooh, okay, 9 out of 10. Oh my gosh, I'm getting shivers all over. Bro, and these are real places as well. People just happen to take pictures at the right time. Mostly. Uh, I mean, I guess 3 out of 10. That's kind of foggy, but it's the ones with the really low camera quality that don't creep me out because, like, I just, I can't really tell what's going on. Ooh, 8, eight out of 10. 8 out of 10. I don't like how, like, half the room is cut out as well as the dark hall. That's, that kid. What in the world? It's just a goat? Why does that freak me out? 7 out of 10. That looks like one of my goats. Bro, I hate the music. Just... Oh, snap. Do you, you see those little eyes? You see those little eyes in the tr- This room is a- Yeah, this room's a 9.5 out of 10. My eyes are watering. My eyes are watering looking at this room. This is a 9.5 out of 10. It's not even the eyes watching me. It's the whole room build. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. 8 out of 10 because he's a little goofy looking, but the room is really creepy. I don't know why these people are being put in here now. But like the room, that bed, dude. That's like every bed you've seen before. It's right there in that actual picture. Whoa, okay. Wow. Okay, dude. Okay, uh, now we're going to react to his uh, part two. Wake up. Oh, he changed around quite a bit since the last one. Uh, I think he does have a, like, a part 3 and a part 4, but I'm not sure about reacting to... That's... Oh my god, I'm getting the shivers again. It's the Winnie the Pooh chair! Really? Somehow clinched that for me. The TV and the double doors? Yeah, this room's an 8 out of 10. We're starting off really strong. Oh, and the music. Yeah, that's an... I'd even give it a little higher, but, like, it's the start. Oh! Uh, I guess, like, uh, yeah, a 4 out of 10. It's a little eerie, but, like, you know, there's a car and stuff. I think the car's in motion. He p he chose really good music. Uh, oh, I'll give that uh, a 3 out of 10. That room looks comforting to me for some reason. The fact that I can picture myself sitting next to someone, like, with all those TVs. Oh, yeah, I'll give that room a 6 out of 10. That's... I feel like someone would have died in that room and is now haunting it. Like, that's the vibe. Like, look at the light angles coming in from the other side. That's that ballerina room. That literally looks like a place I have actually exactly been in. I'm giving it a 9 out of 10 because it looks not for creepiness. It looks like somewhere I've genuinely been, like, standing in that frame. What? What is this? I don't like it. 7 out of 10. It makes me uncomfortable. What it, what, what, am I ignorant or is this like an airport of some kind? Ooh, six out of 10, six, no, seven out of 10. That's creepy. When the building has the lights on, but there's like zero cars to me. I don't know. That's, that's freaky, man. Oh yeah. Seven out of 10 again, bro. These are so much stronger. That room too. It's something about the angle of the picture. It's. It makes me feel funky. Oh. Uh, 2 out of 10. I don't know why, but when it's, like, outside, it, I don't, it just doesn't really get me as much. But, like, when it's inside, it's, it's, like, instantly more creepy. I think it's the sky. Ooh. Uh. But, yeah, 6 out of 10. South? West? <gasps> oh, 8 out of 10 for the nostalgia mixed with the creepiness. Yeah, wild sale. And there's no one there at all or anything. Like, it's the fact that the rooms are half cleared out. 
Uh, actually, first outside one, I'll give a six. That actually looks creepy to me. But, like, it's not too bad. Oh. 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 Oh, I'm getting shivers all over. That's a 9 out of 10. What am I... Like, what is... What is this structure? In a house. Yeah, that's that's a 9 out of 10. I don't like that at all. I'm getting shivery. My legs are bouncing. Oh. Oh. 9 out of 10. What am I... That's like a... It looks like a... Like a lobby for a public pool. But look at, like, just... How it's shaped. I don't even know how to explain how this makes me feel. Yep, yep, 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. You see that corner? And the way the lighting and, like, everything is in corner. <laughs> everything is in corners. I, I don't know how to describe how this makes me, like, uncomfortable. Oh, oh, yep, 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 yep. 10 out of 10. We got our first 10 out of 10. Makes me so, like, unnerved and uncomfortable. I'm not even acting at all. I don't, I just don't know how to describe how this makes me feel. Like, it's kind of scared and kind of like bitter i guess it's like a mix of bittersweet and un like uncomfortable i don't even know oh uh oh oh eight out of ten i really like looked around and it went from a five out of ten to an eight out of ten why is there so many balloons no a party just got thrown oh nine out of ten these like abandoned kid areas and like nurseries are some of the creepiest shit i've ever seen in my life really some of the uh, um I guess six six out of ten because I don't really it's kind of dark oh eight eight out of ten I don't like how you can tell the door is kind of like cracked open what's going on in the top left is that yeah I don't like that room Ooh, ooh, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. It's the fact that you can see the light coming out of the front door, and it's so dark. Ooh, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. I'm jiggling, I'm wiggling right now. Ooh, 8 out of 10. Bro, why did these make me feel so, like, disturbed? Look at just, like, the, the freaking tree print. Bro, what's this music? I can't, I can't watch any more of this. Oh, 9 out of 10. Oh. Genuinely just shivered so hard. Abandoned movie theaters? When you're with friends, it's cool, but when you're alone, it's god-awful creepy. Oh my goodness. 9 out of 10. That is such a hard 9 out of 10. Why is there three windows and then the fourth window isn't there? What's... Okay, okay. Ooh, playpen. 10 out of 10. No, no, 9 and a half, 9 and a half. Are those people back there? They are. Bro, it's that structure. I don't like it. And the jellyfish somehow just... Uh... I guess like a 5 out of 10? Is it leading down to a tunnel? Like, what... What is... What is this? Oh, it's leading to like an underground river, I think. Oh my god. Yup. Yup, 9 out of 10. I actually know. 10 out of 10. It's the way the chain lowers into the darkness. Bro, I've seen that so many times in my dreams. That exact, like, build. It's so creepy. Uh, why is this spherical? 8 out of 10? I can kind of see, like, shapes in the back, too. Is what also, like, adds to it for me. What? Yeah, like, what's over there? Thanks, thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed me reacting to Liminal Spaces, then uh, let me down, know down in the comments. Maybe, like, send me some links on what other videos you'd like to see me react to. Go subscribe to Liminality. This guy is, uh, if all of these images are his, like, if he actually took all these pictures, he has some real talent, okay? Even if he didn't, he was just gathering images. Really cool. Castro J is out.